I'm going to make a very bold claim that if you watch this entire video, you'll go from somebody who know nothing about Facebook ads to a Facebook ads expert. Hey guys, my name is Sagar. In this video, I'll be showing how I'm using Facebook ads to generate tens of thousands of dollars every single day. I'm saying I'm generating six figures every two days. So if you watch the whole video, you'll have all my Facebook secrets so you can replicate this in your own business and start generating money online so you can finally quit your job and start enjoying your beautiful life and buy some Gucci shoes. So let's just not waste any more time. I actually want to show you some numbers so you know it's not a how-to video. So as you guys see right here, move first to eight. As you guys can see, I'm generating 50,000 every single day. Of course, it's up and down. Some days 52, some days 49. I'll refresh for you, for you guys. So all the, you know, inspect element patrol out there. So as you can see, first to nine, right here, we are doing about 50,000. And I'll actually even go, you know, people wanna know, what, did I just get lucky? I actually didn't just get lucky. I've been doing this for the longest. I'll go from first April to nine, boom. As you guys can see right here, you'll see my stats right now. It will take a while to load up because we did about 1.4 million in the last five, six, seven, I don't know how many months they are. So let's just go to first two eights. And another thing I wanna show you, I'm not unprofitable. Of course, I'm spending 50,000, it has to be profitable, I'll be in debt. So just to show you, from December 1st to eight, we spent about, we made about 387K. And let me show you the ad account real quick. So we'll refresh for you guys from December 1st to December 8th. I spent about 207K right there. And then, same here, December 1st to December 8th. I'll refresh for you guys. So we have spent about 237, um, 240K. So ROS is about 1.60, which brings about brings up about 16% profitability on this revenue, which is super great. I'm super happy with that. You know, I have no issues. I'll take that every single day. And it's only first eight months. So you gotta understand that. So, you know, let's just go to what you guys came here for. Let's enough for the numbers. And again, please don't, comment how much profit i kind of already told you it's 15 16 percent you can do the math yourself on revenue i'm not going to do the profit in this video i have multiple other videos so all right so fb ads from beginner to expert so first you gotta understand we're gonna talk about a little bit about facebook ads you gotta understand it's an algorithm what is algorithm algorithm means it's set up on a certain triggers and it works in a certain way. Way so, like I said, it's not magic that will just get you results. You need to understand how this system exactly works. For example, you gotta look at uh, Instagram picture. You know how someone posts an Instagram picture and it go absolutely viral, and same person uses the same Instagram pic, but it doesn't go viral. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Why? Because there's other account probably doesn't have enough build up. Probably it's not in the same niche. Probably have different audience. So all these things matter so much. But one thing kind of stays the common. If you use something that's intriguing, that people are like, oh my God, I've never seen that or something amazes people, it tend to always do good on a broader scale, you know? Another thing is Facebook ads is like swimming. You just cannot learn by watching a video. Of course, by watching a video, you can understand how everything is set up, how everything works, but you actually have to jump in, you have to learn, you have to run some ads to learn how exactly it is. You'll get the hang of things, you'll know how things are stacked, how things are working, what decision making what, and you, another thing is every single different ad account ad what is ad account is mean your facebook ads account where you run your facebook ads everyone is different have different algorithms so if one things work for one thing one person it's not certified that it will work for another person but over the time you will see most of the marketer does come up with this theory that certain things does good across most of the ad account we call them ad account where you run your ads it's called ad accounts all right so key points you don't remember this is the question all these people have oh how much money i need to do to run facebook ads it's your choice you can set up the budget you can start with five dollars or you can start with five hundred dollars what i would recommend to you is starting with fifty dollars a day so you have you are uh, your ad is being shown to enough number of people to make proper decisions so that's why i would recommend starting with 50 dollars. but you can literally start with two dollars five dollars and five hundred dollars and when do you get charged usually there's a threshold in the beginning you get charged every 25 dollars but as you advance you can actually raise the limit to 100 500 600 dollars you know and again you need to connect to facebook pixel what is a facebook pixel we talk about in the next slide facebook pixel it's like a a a uh, main thing in Facebook that helps you get more and more results. So we'll talk about it. You need to connect Facebook Pixel. 
and you need to sign up for a business manager. What's the difference between a regular personal Facebook account and business manager? Business manager has just way more tools and it kind of brings everything together in one place and you have way more control over your things. You have way more other features. You can actually share your uh, share your pixel and share your audience and a lot of stuff. You can do a lot more with Facebook Ads Manager. So you wanna create a Facebook Manager. So let me show you how you create one. So all you do is you go to business.facebook.com and it will land you on a page. I cannot click on it because if I do, it will just take me to my Business Manager because I created one. After you click on this, you'll see on this part of the screen, it will say create a business. So you click that and you fill out the information and boom, you have a business manager, you know? Like I say, it's pretty simple and you name whatever you want and you fill out your address and you just submit it and boom, there you have it. You'll have Facebook business manager. Another thing I want to mention, there's a bug in Facebook right now that you will click submit and it will say error or it wouldn't do anything. So what you want to do is you want to go back to your browsing history, clear out every browsing history and go through incognito, private browsing method and try to do that way. If it doesn't work, wait one day, clear all your cookies and try again. If it still doesn't work, try a different laptop, try another laptop, try a different Wi-Fi. So it's just a bug in Facebook manager. I wasn't able to create a business manager three years ago, but I created one today and it'll let me create it. So that's just how it is sometimes, you know? Again, this is one of the strategies I use to run my Facebook ads. There's multiple ways people use to run ads and they all work and they all perform really good. You just understand you gotta learn one, you gotta confirm one strategy. You gotta go to a professional or someone who's been doing that and show them your strategy. Oh, this is how I'm using Facebook ads to make money what you think about this strategy and confirm it that person if there was person that it's a solid strategy and stick with it don't just keep changing it every time it just doesn't work you gotta stick with it it's facebook ads need some money you have to spend some money on it so you can uh, your facebook can understand the algorithm better so it can give you better customer good quality customers so what is facebook pixel facebook pixel is where every single customer that either visits your website or anyone who have watched your video ad is stored. So let's say you have an ad, right? And basically what's the point of an ad is to send people to your website so they buy from you, right? So anyone that goes to your website, Facebook Pixel stores that. Anyone who watches that ad, Facebook Pixel store that. So it's stored on Facebook Pixel. So that's what Facebook Pixel does. It's just like a digital, a digital box that stores every single customer. How you connect the Facebook pixel to your store, you get the pixel number and you enter in preferences. Let me show you real quick. So you go here, so you go to pixels right here, you click on pixels right here and it will bring you to the screen like this and you will do create a pixel and you name it whatever you wanna name it and you just name it, let's say your niche store pixel and then you continue it and then they will give you a number. Oh, boom, your pixel is created. All you do is click us, uh, uh, connect with an integration partner or something like that and you'll get a number. What you do is you take the number and you put it in your store. So you go to your store, whatever your store is, you go to online store and then you click on preferences. And after you click on preferences, you'll see there will be a box right here and you put the information right there. It's just digits. So you just put their digits right here. It will be a bunch of numbers and then you save it, boom. And now your Facebook pixel is connected to your Facebook ads business manager. It's that simple. And then boom, your Facebook pixel is connected. This is a crucial step because you have to connect Facebook pixel to start your, make your pixel start learning. Facebook ads 10 times smarter. So that's what it is. Another, there's some Facebook slang. So first one is SDLB. What this stands for is smash the like button right now. All right, let's skip that part. All right, so the placement. What is placement? It's where people will see the ad on their feed. So, you know, if you use Instagram, you know how you scroll on your feed and you see an ad called sponsored. That's one type of placement. Then you see some ads on Instagram stories. That's another type of placement. If you go on Facebook Messenger, that's another type of placement. If you go on Facebook Marketplace, you know how it says sponsored sometimes, that's another kind of placement. So placement basically means where are you gonna place your ads? And another slang we use a lot, it's called testing. What testing exactly means is try it out, running an ad, you know? So hey, you should definitely test this product. That means you should definitely try this product out and run some ads to this or you wanna test multiple ad videos. That means you wanna try running multiple ad videos. That's what testing means. Another thing we use is cold interest. Cold interest basically means audience who know nothing about you. So let's say 
if you go to a college and ask for uh, go up to a girl and ask for her number that's cold targeting because she don't know nothing about you you're just going random up to her but if you go to a mutual friend and ask for her number that's called a warm audience warm interest or that could be hot interest targeting so cold is person who know nothing absolutely nothing about you how do facebook ads really work it's basically is you tell facebook there's we're gonna go into that section in a minute don't rush me so we go into that section and you put every single information everything you want facebook to do and then facebook uses ai ai means artificial intelligence to show it the right people the people it thinks are gonna buy so if you sell a cup the facebook will try to find people that it thinks that are gonna buy this cup so that's kind of how facebook ads work and the system is pretty smart it over time it grows and it becomes the smartest system that's why facebook ads is like the best thing out there it can absolutely make you thousands of dollars every single day as i showed you already in the beginning i'm making five fifty thousand in revenue every single day and consistently you saw how consistent the graph was that's the power of facebook ads you can get consistent results and you can just sit back and kind of manage them and you should be good you know but like i said in this video i'm gonna i want to get you started so we're gonna cover the basics this is the video for people who always dm me Oh, how do I exactly start Facebook ads? I know nothing about Facebook ads. This is the video you want to watch all throughout the way. So this is how Facebook ad ads are structured. There's three levels to this. First one is campaign level. Second one is ad set level. Third one is ad creative level. You know, so I'll show you example real quick. You guys can see right here campaign. You guys see right here ad sets and you guys see right here ads. You see that? So that's how the it's the campaigns are set up right there campaign ad sets and ads so what will happen is at campaign level what you do at campaign level you tell what do you want facebook to do at the main campaign level tell facebook this is what i want you to do what i want more people to know about me i want more people to visit my physical store i want more phone num phone numbers for my business i want more people to call me so i can book an appointment for my gas company for selling doors or doing anything different kind of leads you want people to buy your stuff which we fall in that's the category most of the drop shipper or e-commerce businesses fall in you want people to buy your stuff or you just want to get more views on your video you just want to be more popular you just want some cloud you know that's what you do at campaign level at ad set level it's who you want to target what do you what kind of budget you want to spend who you want to target what kind of budget when to start you tell uh, you tell facebook you start on this day where you want to show your ads which location you want to so show them in the united states canada mexico north america north korea china tokyo wherever you want your ads to go age what kind of age group you want people to show remember this age and gender does fall in Facebook's policy that you cannot discriminate people. So if you're selling a house, you cannot target based on age. So there are some restrictions, which I'll show you in a minute, and you should definitely read through all of them. So age, gender placements. Another one is ad creative level. The last one is what people will see your video ad. What's that text on the video ad? You probably see all a lot of them when you scroll in your Facebook, you know, people are doing something, people are showcasing the product, the actual video, ad creative. This is super, super, super important. And this too is the back end. This is the front end. This is how people know about you. This is how people find about your brand. So you want to remember that this is the most important part, ad creative level. So let's go over the campaign level. We actually want to create a campaign and set everything up. So first you want to choose your objective based on the results you want. So all you do is you go to come to campaigns after you create a business manager and you do create. After you do create, you want to go to right here. As you will see, you will see a bunch of these options right here. Brand awareness, reach, traffic, engagement, amp installment, video views, lead generation, messages, all that stuff. So what are all these? So brand awareness is something Coca-Cola, Nike would use. And what they do is basically they just want more people to know about them. They just run ad. There's no motive to this ad. They just want to know more about themselves. A political guys would run a lot of brand awareness. They just want more people to know about that they're running for election. Reach is kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of fall in the same category. You just want more people. You want to reach more people. Traffic is you want more people to come to your website not particularly buy just come to your website 
you just want more people to visit. This is good for photographers who just want people to check out their portfolios or people who just want other people to view, the, view their website. People who are doing copywriting could go through traffic category, it just depends. Engagement is you just uh, want more people, whatever video you have, you want more people to comment on it, like it, say some stuff about it. App install, as the name suggests, you have an app on App Store or somewhere Play Store if you're an Android guy and you just send people there. You know, you want people, more people to install the app or whatever app you're selling. Video views, self-explanatory, you want your video to get more views on Facebook. Lead generation, this is for like real estate people, this is for people who fix ACs, who fix houses, who fix doors. This is where they fall in, they want people to, oh yeah, I do want to get my AC fixed and they put their information and then you get a little form and you just kind of call them, hey, I heard you contact me regarding your roof or window, want to get fixed or something like that, let's uh, uh, set up an appointment, let's meet up. Messages, it's kind of same in lead generation, but in messages, people send you a direct message, hey, my AC is broken, how do I get, uh, get it fixed and all that stuff. Conversion, this is my favorite, this is where a lot of e-commerce owner people who are selling physical products fall in. You want people to buy your stuff. Conversion means you want them to convert to buyers. Catalog sales, this is more like a retargeting thing. It's a little bit pro, it's super hard to set up and it kind of brings you really okay results after you have some good amount of uh, people come to your website. So ignore this, catalog sales, sales is kind of for retargeting and store traffic is if you have a physical store. If you have a physical store, you want people to come to your website, uh, to your physical store. Let's say you sell, um, you know, you have a restaurant, you know, you want more people to come here, so you will do store traffic. So for this purpose, we fall into conversions, that's our favorite one. So we go here and you just, whatever the product name is. Right now we're gonna test hair remover. So this is what I will do, I'll go hair remover. And boom. And of course you don't wanna do this. You, of course you can test with this, your, your choice. Like I said, different strategy. I don't personally go with that strategy. So I'll name the campaign, whatever product I'm testing and I'll do continue. Ad set level, you know, this is where you connect the right pixel and you should have already connected your pixel and you choose budget, tagging and kind of everything. So let's just go to ad set and this is what we're gonna do. So first you come right here, it will look something like this. You always wanna do website here and you select the pixel. So I have three pixel, so I'm gonna select the first pixel right here and then you choose that event. I always, always, always go with purchase. And I'm gonna be super slow here because I don't wanna reveal my product. So right here, this is the purchase you use. And I always use purchase right here, boom. And you, I always leave this blank. And you gotta remember, this is just gonna look different on your screen. So Facebook, it looks different on every single computer. So you was kind of figure it out what option where are. You're gonna use your common sense. Conversion window, I personally go with one day click or one day view. What this conversion window means that different people have different theories for some reason, but what I heard is, I learned is that how long it takes for people to buy your product. So if it takes one day, then you wanna put one day. Seven day would be more for people who are buying computer and stuff. And that's what Facebook says too, but there's another theory, I don't believe in that. And they say that, it would record if someone bought, if someone checked my product today but bought it tomorrow, it wouldn't track that as a purchase if I do one day click. So that's that way you wanna do seven day click. I don't fall into the theory. I personally think, how long does it take people to buy the product? And for computers, it takes longer. You know, other product that would take longer is cars. You know, it takes seven days period to buy a product online. Most people doesn't even buy cars online, but some people of course do, you know? So as we went from here, you start with the ad set name, you can name it anything. So, but remember, you always wanna name it, smash the like button, right now. So you name the ad set, and destination, always select website, optimize for conversion. Remember, we selected conversion. So you wanna do conversion, so connect the right pixel, conversion window, and then you come to budget. I always start with $5 ads, always, that's my thing. And I always start next day, so today is December 9th, I'll start next day on 10th. Uh, not 10th, 12 in the noon. So 12 in the noon, boom. And I just put the end date like six, seven, eight months out. I don't really care. So daily budget and so when, basically this means when do you start your ad to start? So I wanted to start tomorrow at 12. The reason I'm doing this, I want Facebook to spend money throughout the day rather than spending all the money right now in the next few hours. You know, that's the reason I do this. 
delivery type standard recommended everything you leave it as it is and then if you leave the custom audience we are not there yet i'm going to explain what custom audience is for right now ignore this we're not going to put anything there everyone in this location you want to do people who live in this location everyone in this location means everyone who's in the united states right now and it can even include travelers so we don't want that we don't want because tra whenever you travel to a different country you don't really buy that product you know so it's just gonna waste our precious money so what i do is people who live in this location so i select that people who live in the united states you can even target worldwide if you want let's start with the united states if you are just a newbie usually do good results you can even do united kingdoms australia all that stuff you know ages you want to leave it open you always want to leave it open gender you kind of leave it open but the product i'm testing is more woman woman focused so that's why i'm gonna do women and language i leave to open if i'm doing united states but if i'm targeting worldwide what i would put is i'll put english all all people speak english why let's say someone in mexico or someone in canada speaks french they probably wouldn't they'll see the ads and that will just waste our precious dollar they were like oh i wouldn't if an ad is not in the same language most likely they are not gonna buy the product they might buy it but most likely they're not so that's why i select english if i'm targeting worldwide if i'm targeting united states i don't really care that much because a lot of people in the united states does speak english this is where the magic is detailed targeting who do you want to target who really want to target i want to target uh, women i already tell, told facebook i want to target women who live in the united states and who are interested in hair products so hair removal let's try that so you here you use your common sense kind of so you use hair removal oh yeah plucking is a good one too i'll use hair removal so the good tip here is you want to choose audience that's between 1 to 50 million how do you how, 1 to 100 million how do you know that every time you put an interest here you'll see it will say potential reach right here so it said 3.3 million people so that's a good amount of good amount of audience so anything between 1 to 50 million it, 1 to 100 million it's good you know so you want to select that so you select here what i usually like to do whatever the name of this is whatever the name of this is i even change the name to that one here removal right there so i put the name on top to hair removal and connection type you don't want to mess with that and remember this option probably going to be checked you always want to uncheck this this is basically whatever it says expand your detailed targeting we don't want to expand that we want to manually test everything another thing is facebook always want you to do automatic placements but me personally i have seen that you get way better results if you do edit placements like i said i already told you what placements if we don't go a little bit back and that slide will tell you what placement says. So what you want to do is you want to uncheck audience network and you want to uncheck messenger and you only want to even uncheck stories. For stories, you can manually test stories after this product actually makes you some sales. If this ad works, then I would recommend testing some stories. But for right now, you don't test any stories in stream and we don't select search and we check uncheck everything, but we leave Facebook news feed and Instagram news feed and we even lead these two things. This is I just started doing. It's called Facebook video feeds. What this is, it's basically whenever people are watch, watching a bunch of videos like cat videos or dog videos, your randomly ad will pop up related to those videos. So I think this is a really good one. I'm making a good amount of money from this too. Instagram Explorer page. And this is a really good one too. Let's say if someone is scrolling through a lot of food stuff and your ad pops up, hey, get this sandwich from our website or whatever, supposedly, you know? And that it actually shows up to the right people so you can make a lot of money from this too so you want to select these four options before i used to tell facebook news feed and instagram feed but even try this one they do really good you know and i'll test out other ones too for you guys i'll actually waste my money and tell you the results because i'm cool like that so for that smash the like button right now but so you select all those and after that you want to leave all this area blank but remember if you are didn't watch my last video and you still want to test iphone cases that has nothing cool about it this is how you do it you don't want to test flat iphone cases if you test the iphone case make sure there's something unique about this but this is what you do you go here and you click on ios devices only and then you go here you just let's say you are selling iphone cases for iphone pro max right here pro max and you select that and you cross everything else and then it will only show to people who have this phone and this is a great feature you can do that but for right now we are using a hair remover we are selling a hair remover so we don't need that remember so all you want to do is just do all mobile devices and just click 
continue so your ad set is done now we are at the ad level so you want to put the facebook page right here and then you want to connect the instagram account right here i wouldn't click here because my sh uh, pages will show up where i'm currently running ads and i'm doing fifty thousand a day so i don't want to leak my product right now because i'm absolutely killing it but so for ad creative you can name it whatever you want it really doesn't kind of matter ad creative one and then what you want to do is you want to create ad and you want to go to single image and video and you want to add media so you want to add a video whatever video you have you should be getting a video done from somebody or create it yourself you know so this is the video i have i had my editor create it for me and we're gonna upload it right here and boom and this is the product if you already don't know This is a hair removal, you know, I blurred that section out. This is where my product, will, uh, my logo is. So I blurred that section out and this will say whatever the page name is. You usually want to make sure the page name kind of, it's your store name. So it's kind of, it's congruent. And the next thing you do is after you do the video, it should pop up right here. And then you do primary text. What primary text basically is, what do you want people to see for this ad? So you can even say, buy it now here. Boom and you'll see it will pop it right there, boom. So you want it something cool. So how I would structure for this one is boom. I'll put this laser hair removal is here. Put a little love emoji right there and do save 60% off with our biggest Christmas sale. And then I'll point some points, remove hair regrowth on any body part, 90 day money back guarantee or 30 day whatever you offer on your store. And then you say buy it here and you get a bit.ly link. You should know what a bit.ly link is. Bit.ly link just shorten your link. Because if I put the real link, right, you'll see right here, the re real link is too big. So we wouldn't put that. We just go to bit.ly and shrink it. This link, you do get it. You copy this link and you put this link right here where it says website URL. So what happens after you put this link, it will pop up right here. So I'll click right here and you'll see, boom. Now people can just click here and go to your ad. So right now, change this learn more to shop now because you want people to know that, hey, go there to shop this product. So right here, and it would look something like that. The ad already looks good. The only thing that looks stupid is the name Myron, which doesn't make any sense. If you're wondering what is Myron, this is kind of my favorite song right now by Lil Uzi. But on that behalf, if you want to name, have your product name something you know, similar, it's good if you want to have something that say hair remover, that would do good. But like I said, if you have a journal store, you can put the journal store name right there, have a good product picture. And another thing you can do is put headline. What I like to do for headline, let me show you guys. So as you guys can see, I put headline as five star reviews and I put a bunch of emojis right there. So this is the headline I usually use. Let's go back there and put the headline right here and boom. And the headline will come right here, boom. And it looks perfect. And that's the whole ad creative. Now you have a good ad creative and I wanna, tell you this very importantly this is like the most crucial part of this video if you don't do this right you literally do not make money it's not smashing the like button but you can smash the like button but this is what it is you want to choose a video and copy and you want to always test a lot here test like i say try out a bunch of things you always want to try out another videos you want to try out a different text you want to try out a different headline you want to do much bunch of multiple stuff this is where the magic gonna happen Ad creative is what people see. So you wanna always make sure that you have new ad creatives. If you don't know how to get ad creative, get it done from somewhere else. At the same time, learn how to use Premiere Pro. Learn yourself, you, you can actually even tweak them here and there. Of course, it's a skill, it takes time to master it, but it's always good to know that so you can manually tweak things. And of course, keep it simple, read guidelines on what you can say or what you cannot say. There are strict guidelines what you can do or what you cannot do. If you don't follow them, you will get your ad account banned and it will be super hard to get them back. So let's just go through policies for a minute because they are super, super, super important. So this is the thing. Ad creative that describes and show the promoted product is good. Text alluding to personal attributes of car characteristics of the targeted group or individual. What that means is you cannot say something like this. Find, uh, meet other black singles near you but you can say is find black singles today or something like that you know you want to read this very carefully there's a lot of things you can say a lot of things you can't say you can't say people hey tag this right now 
if you if they see that tag word your ad will get less or less reach less audience there's a lot of stuff you want to read through all this you want to spend a good amount of time i'll actually leave the link in the slide so you guys can follow it but all you have to do is search facebook ad policies and it will go through all of them go through all of them you know what you can do what you can't do and this is so important you know all this is so important so you want to read this clearly grammar and profanity you cannot use that click here for more more information get this effing t-shirts here that will get your account banned so like i said a bunch of emojis that will get your account back another thing you cannot really bunch, throw a bunch of emoji and throw a buy now right here so that's why you don't want to you want to stay away from that even buy it now it's kind of a riskier word so i would avoid it too let's say let's just avoid it fully so i'll just sit, do it get it here you know so you want to be safe as possible in the beginning phase and that's if you do that you most likely wouldn't get your ad account shut down they will ban it they, they will disable it but if you submit a request review they'll give it back to you so that's a super important step and after that's all it is and then what you do is you just confirm oh right here it's saying something your ad may reach fewer people if there's too much text in the ad image and i can see there is not a lot of ad text so what you can do is request manual review and then it will manually request the review and what you want to do is just confirm and see how the bot it's it's like a bot uh, it's like a facebook intelligence system it just picks up random stuff which is never correct so you want to you can manually request it but i would try to stay away from that but like i said we do need text in our video to convey dropshipping ads that's how they work great you know if dropshipping ads doesn't have any text usually it doesn't perform that good so you want to make sure they have good amount of text and this is your ad you know and that's kind of what it is how you launch your facebook ads now you know how to run facebook ads of course there's a lot of things we're going to talk about that are very important and i'll go over them but what another thing we do is whenever you test a product whenever you try a new product we duplicate at the ad set level 10 times why we do that because if you just run five dollar ads it's usually not going to do that good right so what you do is you just duplicate that and you go through each of them and you change the interest you change the code interest so you go here so you will select something else what else you can use that would resonate to girls that are looking to buy hair removal girls who like to buy makeup so what are good makeup brands i would say mac if that's even oh mac cosmetics boom you just throw that right there and see 20 million people you can actually even narrow it down you actually let's say you do mac cosmetic you actually want to do girls who like makeup let's do that girls who like make up girls who like cosmetics in general right and you can even let's say 77 million you don't want to target 77 million you can actually narrow audience and you want you tell facebook hey i want to target girls who like cosmetics but they even like uh, let's say hair conditioner at the same time oops hair some interest is just not there so you oh there is hair conditioner but sometimes interest are not here so you just try a different keyword so you can just click hair conditioner and then you'll see it will drop from 77 million to 12 million so it drops it so now facebook will only show to people who like both of these products at the same time another way to find more suggestion if you run out of them so let's say you put this one you can just click suggestions and you can do beautiful skin and you can throw beautiful skin in the another ad so not in here you always test one interest in one ad set so that's what you want to do choose the video ad copy always try a bunch of different videos keep it simple make sure to read the guidelines this is the ad copy something i would use you can always tweak it up make sure to use emojis nothing like i said i told you nothing scammy here nothing spammy here keep it clean keep it simple another one is smash the like button right now because there's just too much value i dropped right now so smash the like button boom all right so the analysis you know what will happen after you run your ads what's the next step let's say you launch these ads what do you do you do so you use multiple kpis what is kpis is basically means key performance indicators to see what's going on on the performance and you can kind of get the idea of what's going on with your ad creative what you need to change and all that stuff so as you guys can see i have this pulled up right here so this is how the facebook ads manager after you spend some money I, you can see i spent seventy three thousand on december 1st to 3rd but you can start with 50 dollars. so don't let this scare you this is i'm just giving you a good example so this is what i focus on ROAS 
and my how many purchases I got. So I, you guys can see I got 3.25 ROAS. What ROAS is exactly? Return on investment. So let's say if you put $100, how much you made back? So if it's 325, that means you made, if you put $100, you made $325 back. So you will see there's multiple ROAS right here. And this is what two things are focused on ROAS and how many purchases. But if you're starting out, this is what you can even do. Look at CTR. CTR means click through rate. That means how many people are clicking on the ad. So let's say if it's 2.16%, that means out of 100 people, two people click on that. So if 100 people see your ad, two people are clicking on it. Let's say if your CTR is 6%, that means out of 100 people who watches your video, six people click on it, which is an absolutely phenomenal CTR. So you want to look at CTR. Another thing you can look at CPM. So if the CPMs are super high, that means it could be a competitive niche. See what is CPM? CPM means how much it costs you to show that ad to thousand people. So if the CPM is super high, either it's a competitive niche or you are just targeting completely wrong people and they absolutely don't care about your product. So CTR, these two are good metrics to know if your ad, if your ad credit is shitty. So let's say if you have a poor CTR, if you have under 1%, that means your people really absolutely doesn't like your uh, ad credit. Your ad credit is not doing the magic or your targeting is super wrong. So either it's targeting or your ad credit. But if your CTR is 3%, 5%, 7%, and but you're still not getting sales, that's most likely something is wrong on your website. Your pro website doesn't look professional enough or there is you know something scammy on the website or the product page doesn't explain the product perfect so there could be a lot of things so you want to understand these are the CDR is a really main one if you're starting out it will let you know if your product is good enough or it's the Facebook side of things and eventually I like to just focus on purchases how many sales I made and how much is my return on investment if I'm putting a dollar in I'm getting 150 in which is pretty good right now another thing Facebook doesn't track all the sales so if I put 73,000 I made I think I made about 1.70 so that means every 100k I'm putting into my ads, I'm making 170k. So that's like a 70k up profit. Not profit, there's another cost like cogs and stuff, but that's how much I'm making. And it's it gets pretty common after you just go to 10,000 and plus, the ROAS usually stay around 2x. You know, it of course depends on the product and multiple other things. But like I said, this is how the uh, metrics looks like. And this is how you set them up. CTR, if you don't have CTR, how do you bring them up? You just go to columns. And you just do customize columns and you just click here and you search CTR. Boom, it will pop it right there. And you just tick it and you do apply. And boom. What's the actually goal of running cold interest? Why are we running it all that stuff? Why are we doing all this? So this is, should be the goal to collect data. Like I said, if you don't know what data means, data means people who visited your website, what kind of people are interested in your product, what kind of people are clicking on the ad, what gender, what's their age range, what interests they have in common. So Facebook does all this automatically. Facebook automatically collect data. All you need to do is give money to Facebook and have them run ads. So that's the whole point of running cold interest. Like I said, if you don't know what cold interest is, it means people who have never seen you before, who know nothing about your brand, nothing about your store, nothing about your product. So that's why we collect data. So when you run ads, you collect data kind of automatically. So what's the next step after this? After you collect data, right? you get something called custom audience. So what is a custom audience? It's basically an audience of all the people who took some kind of action on your store. So what custom audience does, let's say all the people who, view, who viewed your website, who went on the website and looked at your product page, that falls into one custom audience, which we call it view content. They viewed your content. Another custom audience is people who watched your ad up to 95%, they falls into VV 95%. That means video views 95%. So that's what custom audience is. A custom audience is an ad targeting option that lets you find your existing customer. Remember that find your existing customer, the customers who already exist. They might not have bought from you, but they know about your store. They know something about you. They have seen your ads in one way or another. They have been on your store. They probably already purchased from you too. So you can use sources like customer list. You can use your website to create a custom audience. 
you can even use engagement on your Facebook. You know, if someone then went on your Facebook page and liked the picture on there, you can use that a custom audience too. You can even create a custom audience from email list and all that crazy stuff. You so you can create a bunch of custom audience. And how do you create them? You create them in audience section. So let's go to audience section to show you guys a little bit more. You go come to your audience thing and you click on audience and it will boom land you on something like this this is the store where i used to run hair dryer it's a different store so what you want to do is you click on create audience and you click on custom audience and then you go to all you have all this option where you can create a bunch of custom audience for this video i'll show you the few of the main ones so you go to website and then you just go to all the people who viewed content right there it will say page view right here so you just click that actually this is not the right pixel this is the right pixel and it will now pop up right there view content so you can even do all the people who viewed content that means went to your website in the last 30 days 180 days 90 days whatever you want usually 30 days get the best results and you just name your audience whatever you want you can name a vc view content 30 days and you can name the product name right here and you just click create audience and boom now you have an audience and that's called a custom audience these are very important i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you why we even need the custom audience in the first place another way you do is you go to video and you click people who watch 95 percent of a certain video and you click on choose videos and then you select the video right there as you can see and you do 30 days whatever days you want usually 30 does good and we need this is called video views 95 percent you can name it whatever you can name it smash the like button whatever you want so you go here and you put the product name right here and you do create audience and boom you have audience it wouldn't create that oh actually created that but the size is too small because we don't have that many views on that but this is how you create a custom audience and you'll have a bunch of them you have view content you have add to cart you have initial checkout you have vv 95 percent you have video views 75 percent you can even create them from email list so you'll have a bunch of them so after you got the custom audience then comes this cool thing called lookalike audience so what is lookalike audience facebook lookalike audience helps your ad reach people who are similar to those audience that are already interested in your business so how it explains is what look like audience is it basically let's say it say oh these hundred people liked your product bought your product and you know what these all these hundred people have in common they watch harry potter movies so what facebook will do facebook will find more people who like harry potter movies it will connect a bunch of dot it wouldn't just take one interest it would take all these people like harry potter movies all these people drink a lot of coffee all these people like like cat pages so it will create an audience of that and then it will create a look like audience people who are who have the same interest as this audience so now you have another audience that kind of is similar to you and how do you create lookalike audience i'll show you in a minute so lookalike audience can only be created from custom audience so that's why we create custom audience first and then when you create a lookalike audience so that's why you need some data you need to know a little bit about more about your audience you need a lot of more custom audience because lookalikes does not perform good if you don't have at least like i would say five to ten thousand video views you at least have 40 to 50 profitable purchases I usually create first look like audience I create is VV95 after I have 20 to 30 profitable sales. So how do you create them? Go here and you click on this right here, whatever custom audience you created, and you click on click look like audience, and then you do United States or whatever country you're doing good right now. So let's say if you're doing really good in Brazil, you'll select Brazil right here and you create all those. And what are these pointers right here? If you ask me, this is basically how close that audience is gonna match. So this is the top one percent. So let's say your class, right? Your class, the top one percent people would be who always get hundred, hundred, hundred in every single score, every single exam. So that are the top one percent. But from one to two percent of the people who usually get ninety nine, ninety eight. So that are the top two percent people. So Facebook kind of divide your audience. So let's say it took the audience of people who like Harry Potter who like to drink a lot of coffee and who like cat videos and it make other audience and so the top one percent is exactly like these people but from one to two percent there are people like this but they even might have other interests so now you would ex think that zero to one percent would always do good but that's not not necessarily the case sometimes four to five percent would absolutely blow out the water from zero to one percent so this will absolutely kill it for four to five percent when this wouldn't do anything you can even move the sliders around so but i will just do a zero to one one to two to three to four four to five 
And right here, you can even put the countries, whatever you want. You can put Brazil, whatever country you want, whatever country your store is doing good. And then you click create audience and you'll see, this is why I tell you, you need data. It wouldn't let me create an audience. It will say source is too small. That means whatever custom audience I give him, it doesn't have enough data because the video I just created, it doesn't have enough views. So that's why it's saying that. So next time, remember, that's why you need data. That's how you create a lookalike audience. And usually I start with VB95 the first time I start. Like I said, and I'll create another video where I go super in depth about custom audience and lookalike audience you can use to scale. But like I said, first I want you to take this in, whatever I told you in this video and start testing some products. So next time you are not just have a bunch of information. I can show you right now custom audience for look like this video gonna be three hours long. But then again, you're not gonna apply it because you're gonna be overwhelmed. So I want you to, whatever you learn today, go apply that, test some products after you get some sales. I even have other videos I'll recommend you in a minute, the exact videos you wanna watch. So you get the hang of things. So that's why I want you to use this strategy, launch some ads, get the hang of things, run into the Facebook issues you run into, run into the Shopify issues you're usually gonna run into so you get over them faster, all right? So like I say, if you wanna learn even quick, you don't wanna wait till I drop the next video, just go to watch this video, it's called 30,000 in one day video. It's on my channel. So as you guys see, you wanna watch this video, this video has a lot of more detail of what I'm doing about ads, how do I scale them really, if you wanna learn a lot. If you wanna know my testing strategy, exact testing, how I exactly test, you wanna watch this video, best targeting method for Facebook ads in 2020. So these are the two videos that are gonna help you with scaling, and this is more like a testing video, you know? And remember, we are at 9.88K, so absolutely smash the subscribe button right now so we can hit that 10K. So I'm officially a full-time YouTuber, I'm legit. I'm 100% legit, so let's hit that 10K. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit the subscribe button right, right, right now, all right? And that's it for today. Subscribe if you guys got value, absolutely destroy the like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button so we can hit that 10K and I'm, I can call myself a little cloud youtuber dropshipper i'm officially gonna be a legit youtuber you know so and let's get this gucci shoes and get this money all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace